Today, we're going to customize our Island's HD1 DMR dual band handheld radio, so please keep watching for more. Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, the Islands HD1 is a feature-packed dual-band DMR handheld radio. Since it was built from the ground up for the amateur radio market, it has some features and capabilities that you're not going to find on many other DMR handhelds. Today, we're going to look at some of the custom features on the HD1, including importing contacts into the address book, changing button assignments, and also setting a unique welcome screen for when you turn on the radio. All of these functions allow you to customize the radio for your personal tastes. Plus, I'm going to take you through the steps necessary for updating the radio's firmware. So let's go back inside the shack and look at some of the custom features available in the Islands HD1. The Islands HD1 has the ability to store 1,000 priority contacts and 100,000 address book contacts. The priority contact list can store your group call contacts for your talk groups, and you can import a database of private call contacts into the address book. The advantage of this is that the names and call signs will show up on the screen instead of just a DMR ID. This is super handy when you are monitoring some of the large talk groups. So stepping back a bit, first we'll need, to, we'll need a file of private call contacts. We can go into the website amateurradio.digital and go to their digital contacts wizard. Follow the steps by selecting the radio and then go to step 2 for customize options. Select DMR IDs by country and pick the countries of your choice in filter by country. I'm selecting the United States, Canada, and the UK. Then click on step 3 and press the download button. A CSV file will be created and saved in your downloads folder. In the programming software, go to the address book contacts and click on import. Navigate to the downloads and select the file you created. The contacts will appear on the list. Finally, press the right button to dump the contacts to the radio. This is going to take some time, so don't be concerned if it takes several minutes to write the contacts. The nice thing is, is that this is a one-time process. The address book is independent of the channels, so you can update the rest of the radio without having to rewrite the address book. You can change the welcome message of the HD1 from the generic Islands logo to any custom image of your choice. To do so, first you will need a compatible image file. It must be 160 by 128 pixels and be saved as a 24-bit BMP file. Almost all image editing programs will allow you to make this file. I used Adobe Photoshop. Next, in the HD1 programming software, select Power On Logo. Open your newly created logo file and then write it to the radio. When the radio restarts, you will see your custom logo. A handy feature on the Islands HD1 is the ability to modify the key settings. Uh, you can modify the two buttons below the push to talk and either and, and set them up a side key one and side key two for either a long press or a short press. So in the programming software under basic settings you can select key setting and for side key one you can select your your preferred long press setting and your preferred short press setting and do the same with side key two. A uh, one really handy feature is that you can set um, the one key settings uh, and that is the one key call which allows you to go quickly to a particular talk group in the radio. To do that, go to the one key call, select call mode as digital, call list as priority, and then select a priority call. I selected TAC 310. So now on my one key settings, when I do a long press on side key one, it will take me to TAC 310. The latest firmware update of the Islands HD1 was in August of 2018. So if you're like me, you may have a radio with an older version of the firmware. The latest version, 1.53, adds some nice features to the screen display, improves the squelch, and is overall more stable. So it's a good thing to update. The process is simple. First go to the Redivis site and download the firmware update application. 
There are two versions depending on if you have the GPS in your HD1. Install the software and open the application. Next, connect the programming cable and then turn on the radio while pressing the push to talk and the first button below the push to talk. The indicator light on the top of the radio will glow red. Now pick your COM port and press the connect button. You should get a confirmation message that you are connected. Then press the version button to verify which version of the firmware is in the radio. And finally press the update button. The new firmware will be sent to the radio. Once the process is complete, you can check the version number on the radio to see if the firmware update was a success. For more ham radio articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. Uh, give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and also check out some of the other videos that are uh, recommended alongside here. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Pressing subscribe will notify you when future videos are released. Well, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. Have a great day, and 73.